First and foremost, I'd like to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh. Bahashim Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Raka Kodash, double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone that rule well, and a sincere salutation to you, Akim and you, Aqua, that believe in all sincerity. So, as you see here, it says, This is how your light changes the world. All right? And if you see, dude, he's coming around, you know, some people that are standoffish. All right? And as you look down, his light starts to emanate on others until he illuminates, you know, the whole crowd. Okay, it says be the light. All right. And ultimately, this lesson will be entitled Shine as Lights in the World. Okay. And you can find this line in the book of Philippians, the second chapter in the 15th verse. And the elect is going to shine. Okay. As lights in the world. They're going to give off a, a light. Okay. And others are going to you know, come to the light, okay? Because the elect has been illuminated, okay, through through the words of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, through the Holy Spirit, the knowledge, the wisdom, okay? This is how your light changes the world. Let's start in... Let's get this. Baruch chapter 4. Baruch chapter 4. This is Baruch 4 and 1. This is the book of the commandments of the Most High and the law which endureth forever. All they that keep it shall come to life, but such as leave it shall die. Okay. The book of the commandments of the Most High is what? The scriptures, including the Apocrypha. Okay? The, this word endures forever. All day they keep it, they're going to come to life. They're going to be lively. Okay? They're going to be given a spirit of, of hope. Okay? Beyond any hope that you can receive in this world. It says, but such as leave it shall die. And if you leave this word, you're ultimately, you're going to perish. All right. It says, turn thee, O Jacob, and take hold of it. Walk in the presence of the light thereof, that thou mayest be illuminated. You see? So these scriptures, when you walk in the presence of the light, okay, when you do things open and honest in front of Yahweh Bashim Yahashai, you are walking in the light. Okay? You are going to be illuminated. Okay? You will have light. Matter of fact, when you, uh, this is Isaiah 8 and 20, to the law and to the testimony, if they speak not according to this word, it is because there is no light in them. So those that speak, you know, according to the words of Yahweh Bashim Shai, they're going to have light in them. NLT, look to the Most High's instructions and teachings. People who contradict his word are completely in the dark. Wow. You see that? But if you look to the most highest instructions and teachings, then you are going to have light. Okay? This is uh, Ephesians chapter 1. It says... That the Most High of our Lord, Yahweh Shai Hamashiach, the Father of Glory, may give unto you the spirit of wisdom and revelation in the knowledge of Him. You see, the knowledge of Yahweh Bashim Yahashai is wisdom and revelation. Okay? You become wise. The Lord reveals things to you. You become illuminated. You speak according to the word. There's going to be light in you. The eyes of your understanding being enlightened. You see? It's talking about your mind that ye may know what is the hope of his calling and what the riches of the glory of his inheritance in the saints. So you know exactly what you're doing in his truth. You know what is the hope of this calling. We're not fighting in vain. We know that we've been called and we know that there's a there's a hope beyond any hope in this world. OK, the riches of the glory of his inheritance in the saints. Right. The saints being among the saints and inheriting you know, 
the earth, you know, being glorified with Yahweh Shai, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. This is an enlightenment, man. Okay. And what is the exceeding greatness of his power to us who believe according to the working of his mighty power? You see, the Lord is, is to us word. Okay, he's 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 working with this with this hopeful elect. This is a mighty power. This is exceeding greatness, man. You know, the, we always say this is no light thing. You know, you, you you're in this word, the Lord is supping with you, the Lord is illuminating your spirit. Okay, you're gonna be a light in the world. This is how your life changes the world. Be the light. You see that? Let's get a couple more. This is uh, the book of Matthew. Five and fourteen. Ye are the light of the world. You see, ye are the light of the world. The elect is the light of the world, and it's going to be made um, evident as the time goes on. Okay, when all hell breaks loose, the heavenly Father is going to put a cold spirit on the men of the Lord. They're going to know exactly what's going on. People are going to flock to them. You know, people are going to know. Hey, that guy that was prophesying on the street, he spoke about these things. They're, they're, you know, and it's not us. It's 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 it's. You know, the Heavenly Father set up uh, prophets, in the, you know, always, you know, and people take this thing lightly like it's a joke. But this is this is this is truth. You know, the Most High and his son, Yahweh Shai, whom the world ignorantly calls God and Jesus Christ, has set up uh, a body, OK, on the earth. And they've always been part of the election since, since the foundation of the world. OK, and they're going to be lights of, in the world. Ye are the light of the world. A city that is set on a hill cannot be hid. Cannot hide the election. They're going. They're going to shine. Neither do men light a candle and put it under a bushel, but put it on a, but on a candlestick, and it giveth light unto all that are in the house, the house of Israel. Okay. That's why brothers stand out, you know, through the spirit. Brothers, brothers, um, through the spirit and power. Yahweh Hashem outside. They're teaching in this word. They don't. They don't. They don't you know, tuck their, their, their talent, you know, they're like a candle. They don't put it under a bushel, but they put on a candlestick and it gives light to the whole house. Let your light so shine before men that they may see your good works and glorify your father, which is in heaven. You see, so you let your light shine before men, you know, let those good works shine that, that others may see that you matter of fact, let's get this in John, John one. It's one of my favorite uh, scriptures. Let's see. Is it two? Bear with me. It's on three. <clears throat> this is John 3 and 19 And this is the condemnation That light is coming to the world Right Yahweh Shai is that light And men love darkness Rather than light Because their deeds were evil For everyone that doeth evil Hateth the light Neither cometh to the light Lest his deeds should be reproved You see And that's condemnation Okay To all those that love darkness Rather than the light And that's because their deeds are evil they won't come to the light, okay, lest his deeds should be reproved, right? And you're not going to find anyone in the truth, okay, that is living in darkness because they're going to get reproved and they're going to want to hide, you see? And brothers have always said, you know, this is the light. You can't hide in this thing. Your deeds will be made manifest. It says, but he that doeth truth cometh to the light that his deeds may be manifest may be made manifest that they are wrought in the most high. You see, those deeds that are wrought in Yahweh Bashimian Shai, they're going to be made manifest and it's going to be truth 
and it's going to light the house, the house of Israel. You know, they're going to come to the light. It's going to be open for all to see. And that's how, that's why men glorify um, Yahweh Bashem Yashai. They hear brothers teaching, you know, even in the truth, and they know that it's truth. You know, and that's what these epistles do. That's what, you know, going out there on the highways and hedges, that's what it's for. You know, to to help gather the elect to the spirit and power of Yahweh Because it's none of us. It's the Lord. This is John 8 and 12. Then speak Yahweh Shai again unto them, saying, I am the light of the world. He that followeth me shall not walk in darkness, but shall have the light of life. You see? Strong's G, 4653, Scotia, Scotia. Darkness. The darkness due to want of light. Right. If there's no light in you, it's because you you're not speaking according to the word. The spirit of Yahweh Hashem is not in you. You're not illuminated. Therefore, what is in you is darkness. All right. Metaphorically, used of ignorance of divine things. And it's associated wickedness and the resultant misery in hell. Okay. Yeah, darkness is the ignorance of divine things. And it's associated wickedness and all the wickedness that comes with the ignorance. Not knowing what is divine, not knowing what is from on high. Okay. Figuratively, what does it say? Dimness, obscurity, literature. Literally or figuratively, darkness. Yeah, real darkness in people. Okay. Let me read this again. Then spake your house again unto them, saying, I am the light of the world. He that followeth me shall not walk in darkness, but, sh but shall have the light of life. You see? This is John 12 and 35. Then Yahweh I said unto them, Yet a little while is the light with you. Walk while ye have the light, lest darkness come upon you. For he that walketh in darkness knoweth not whither he goeth. Because, let's read this in NLT because it, it, this, this is interesting. Yahushua replied, my light will shine for you just a little longer, you see. Yahweh Shai shined on his disciples, man. His disciples shined that same light. NLT, Yahweh Shai replied, my light will shine for you just a little longer. Walk in the light while you can, right? Absorb it. Absorb this truth. So the darkness will not overtake you. Those who walk in the darkness cannot see where they are going. And that's of a fact. How can you see? Okay, if you're walking in darkness, you're not walking in the light. We just read that in, in John, the third chapter. They don't come to the light lest their deeds be reproved. We want to walk in the light so that it may be manifest that our deeds are wrought in Yahweh Bashim Okay. 36, while ye have light, believe in the light that ye may be the children of light. These things spake Yahweh Shai and departed and did hide himself from them. You see, while ye have light, while we still have the light, believe in the light that we may be the children of light. You see that? Yeah. While you have the spirit, believe in the spirit, believe in this, in this truth, believe in Yahweh Bashem Shai that you may be the children of light. Okay. Now the scripture that sparked this lesson. Okay, this is Philippi. Let's see, let's go back. Mm -hmm. Philippians 2 and 15. That ye may be blameless and harmless, the sons of the Most High, without rebuke, in the midst of a crooked and perverse nation among whom ye shine as lights in the world. You see? We must be blameless and harmless, the sons of the Most High, without rebuke, 
in the midst of a crooked and perverse nation among whom ye shine as lights in the world. And these other individuals, as you see, you know, they're kind of standoffish. They don't have the light. But if they're part of the election, they will be illuminated. They will be taught and they will remain in the light because they are the children of the light and they shine as lights in the world. A city that is set on a hill cannot be hid. You see? Be the light. 